Both of you. <laughs> and Mr. Ferry, of course. Do my, so that is the lowest bid. Do, uh, do we have any questions before I accept motions? No. All right, I am accepting motions. Mr. Chairman, I move that we award the bid to, oh, excuse me, roof replacement or repairs? Replacement? 70% of the main structure replaced and repaired the other 30%. So, so it's a combination bid? Yes. It okay. actually exceeded the original last one there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. Chairman, I move that we award the bid to repair slash replace the roof at the town garage to Mike's construction of Dudley Mass at the bid price of $24,400. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion on this agenda item? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it, and the motion passes. Good work again to our building commissioner, highway superintendent, and town administrator on that. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Ferry is actually here for um, items A. Mm -hmm. B and B under the town administrator's report, and I'm sorry, Tom, I'm just checking anything else. And 7F. Sir? Oh, which I'm sorry. Item, yes. Which agenda item were you here for? Me? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I've actually done that. Are we a country store? You close it up. Liquor, I liquor license. See if that liquor license gets approved. So you can hold on to it because we're in the process of okay. changing it over. Okay, so I think what we should do Sure. Uh, in the fairness of time is move to the approval of the liquor licenses then we can go to maintenance of the private ways then we will go to approval of the sausage contract award for dpw services and then if you're still awake mr commissioner <laughs> we'll move <laughs> so, we'll move to the um discussion on town hall renovations is that okay Ms. with my colleagues yeah, mr chairman i move that we take agenda item 8b out of order I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it. And that motion passes. Approval of the liquor licenses. Bear with me just a moment. We do have a list. Okay, so I think, do we normally do these one by one or do we do them as a block? You can do them as a block. I don't know what you We've normally done do, simply but you, you can do them however. Okay. Which In the fairness of time, if nobody, if both of my colleagues don't have any objections with any particular business requesting in a liquor license on here, but do, we do we have, have to update. put one on hold. Okay. So um, unfortunately, the one on hold is Almeida's. So if you want to go forward with everything, and then we can talk about that. Okay. One. So I think we can do these in the, uh, sake of, for the sake of fairness in a block and then exclude Almeida's well, Country separately. Store Incorporated. Um, Mr. Chairman, I move that um, procedural question first. Mm -hmm. Do we have to specify all alcohol or wine, and all wine and malt? You should, but you can also say as presented, and this is a then, is a document attached to the meeting forever, just as a open meeting law and public records law. Okay. So you can say um, that as well. Mr. Chairman, I move that the board approve the following all alcohol licenses for Giorgio's Steakhouse, Taunton Yacht Club, Mount Hope Liquors, Medway Enterprise, have a childish corporation and wine and malt licenses for Brian J. Stone, Alice's Last Stop, Gatarani, New Fast Mart, and Winthrop Street Gas. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. Discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Abstentions? The ayes have it. That motion passes. Regarding Almeda's Country Store Incorporated, um, why was that set aside? I know we had sure. received correspondence yep. from the state, correct? We did receive correspondence from the state regarding um, they have owed 
they owe money to the Kena or the lottery, um, and it's a substantial sum, and they're not, the ABCC has ruled that they are not allowed to have a liquor license indefinitely. What happened I've to never the one they currently like have? That. Well, it's still going that's on the because so you they mean not a renewal. They're right, not you can't, they're, renewal. they're not allowed anything anymore, one. ever, indefinitely. So even if they didn't get approved tonight or to a renew, they wouldn't be able to apply for a new one. We did call the ABCC to get some, I've never seen something like that, um, to get some guidance, and we haven't heard back from them. So I was going to request that we handle that one next week, but I, if you had any questions. No, I'm mean, the license for most of them is cut off. I don't know where they cut off. We use incorporated because it hasn't been on me as incorporated for over two years. So do you think, okay, that's actually good to know because it could be a records problem and it might be not him, but we have, we uh, haven't heard Meaning back from the Meaning there ABCC. may be one, a request or something in his two name. Years ago I sold the business. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was actually, I financed him, I was his bank and also he's, he owes me just like the owes the state at home. Okay. All I'm hoping on is, you know, Continue. That yeah, at least, you know, they, they yeah. hold on to the license, so when I open back up or decide to sell the belt or whatever, yeah. the license isn't just moved on to somebody right. else. Mm -hmm. So the very unfortunate thing is we, we really, if the ABCC yeah, is we have, we can't. indefinite, we cannot license them, which like is even why if we reached we wanted out. To. Um, but I'll make sure that we talk to them before next week. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a mm -hmm. motion that we uh, place Almeida's Country Store Wine and malt license on the agenda for next week. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it and that motion passes. Do you want to leave contact information? And I can call you? you should have it. Yeah, but I'll leave it Go ahead. Thank you, sir. Here, just jot it down right here. Right, right underneath that scratch. Um, I'm just I don't know where we are. Okay, what's the next thing you want to do? We are going to move to maintenance of private <coughs> ways. Mr. Highway Superintendent Chairman. Beach, Mr. Ferry. Mr. Chairman, oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I move that we take agenda item A, a out of order. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it. And that motion passes. This is a calamity of errors. This was on here due to a miscommunication between myself and Tom. Um, so thank you. So um, this is on error. We don't need to act on this right now. Okay. Uh, so now it's the table. Uh, um, is it because we already acted on this previously? Oh, okay. We don't need to table it. <laughs> no. Motion to forget. It was on my board. It was a fatal flaw. We put it on the board. Um, <laughs> no problem. And now just we for should. Just the record, Mr. Mm -hmm. Chairman. Um, <coughs> Mrs. Brady, please note for the record that agenda item 8A had been acted on previously. And next, if I could have a motion to move to approval of the Sarsage Contract Award for DPW services. I so move. Second. Any further discussion since we have a motion and a second? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstentions? The ayes have it. That motion passes. Mr. Ferry. Excuse me. Uh, Mrs. Brady, that motion should be just a slight correction to take agenda item 8H out of order. All right. Mr. Ferry. Um, I believe you have this one. All right, so this is, so we're back, to, I'm sorry, Cable and everybody else watching. All right, so we're back to town administrator's report. The first item we have is, is relative to snow plowing. Um, we, and by we, I mean Tom, um, has done all the legwork on this, but we're having difficulty recruiting snow plow drivers. So we have a request to increase the rates. Um, we did previously discuss this. We raised them slightly, and Tom's back to give us some updated Wait, excuse recommendations. Excuse me, excuse yeah, me. We, yeah. we need to no, no, do No, no, you gotta do the one that we just right. Oh, I thought you just on. did it. Approval no, of no. the search no. contract. The motion, that's why I corrected the motion. For the motion DPW was to take it out of order. Water. Oh, I'm sorry. Eight. Now right. we have to act on it. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I even have a to-do on this already in my notebook. So, Sursage is our public consortium. This is the DPW supply, uh, excuse me, services portion, um, which is uh, asphalt and all that good stuff that Tom deal deals with on a v regular basis. Um, 
the highway superintendents that belong to this group approved the board that I'm a member of uh, approved this this contract and it kicks in in February uh, mr. chairman I move that we approve the sursage contract award for DPW services as recommended I'll second that motion we have a motion and a second any further discussion we don't, he gets away without saying anything I know that's my that's my <laughs> thing I mean he helps but <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. all those in favor say aye aye, aye. 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 opposed <laughs> abstentions the ayes have it and that motion passes mr. chairman I will send mr. moderator <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what Bill. What's happening to us today? <laughs> Something in the water. water. It's Mr. Ferry's fault. Um, Mr. Chairman, I move that we take agenda item 6A out of order. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it. That motion passes. Madam Administrator. We, meaning Tom, is having trouble recruiting uh, snowplow drivers. So we're here to request again another increase. We did raise it moderately, but mm -hmm. Tom did some research and has more to say on this than me. Mr. Ferry, the floor is yours, sir. Yes. Um, the biggest problem we're having with recruitment on the hired trucks is the insur insurance industry has a change in the way they insure vehicles, especially on municipal roadways. Um, the private plates, personnel plates cannot be used for any type of road work. So part of our policy and our carrier policy, the town of Dighton is to be listed as an additional insurer on their insurance certificate. That's part mm -hmm. of our policy. <coughs> so that cannot happen on the personal plates and it cannot happen on some of the commercial plates either. So we, I typically hire about seven hired trucks. Right now I have two that are with the paperwork come back and compliant. I have a lot of interested people. Last month I had a lot of people come and go. They just look at the numbers and move on. Um, so I look back at a survey that was done through surges, which involved um, 26 communities. And I averaged them out this afternoon and got a good consensus of them. And that list, that paper that I, um, I believe you have a copy of, I'm recommending these are averages, um, close to the averages. So the, it's a little tough because each town looks at a, a plow vehicle for hire a little differently. You know, the, the length of the plow, the size of the vehicle, the weight of the vehicle. Um, I'm, I'm interested if they, it's just a four wheel drive truck that's less than a, a one ton, you know, a typical pickup truck that's not a 350, you know, like a 1500 we would we would hire that uh, the average for all the communities actually comes out to seventy five dollars and fifteen cents so I'm recommending a seventy five for that the next truck that I typically would be interested in would be a one ton a one ton truck it could be a pickup truck but it be it has to be rated a one ton I go for the nine foot plow. Some other communities go for at least an eight foot plow. I want at least a nine foot plow. It can be a six wheel, one ton, but it's gotta be less between um, a 350 or the vehicle weight, like the 450s and whatnot, the vehicle's gotta be less than a 26,000 pounds. So to fit in that window that I, I'm looking for, uh, that average comes out, um, is just shy of $80. I'm gonna re I would like to recommend 85 in that one. That's the the vehicle I'm really interested in. And the next vehicle up would be over 26,000 pounds with at least a 10 foot plow. That average comes out to $96. I'm recommending the 95. And the loader price would be the same, um, the $110. So we, we have three loaders available, so it'd be unlikely we're hiring that one. Those are all hourly rates? Yes, hourly rates. So um, early in the season, I recommended a, a slight increase. Um, somebody else in this room recommended a full ten dollars. She was right; I was wrong. And that's recorded. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's where we should have been uh, when I made the first recommendation, and um, 
it might be more palatable. We have some vend previous vendors that are interested in up in that the problem with the insurance is almost three times as much to carry the insurance to plow for us. So they will still entertain it. Yeah. They just wanted us to do something. Mm -hmm. So that, that's where we are tonight. And you think this will garner more folks that are interested in plowing? Yeah. Yes, yes. I have a, a lot of inquiries. I'm not interested in stealing plows from other towns, which is very dangerous. Um, we, we like the, the vendors that we've had to keep them, and um, we want to take care of the ones we have and also make it look attractive for the, the holes that we have. We have quite a bit of a gap there. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have then. So I, so I recommend as I just presented. Do either so, of my colleagues have questions? Yeah, select them. Yeah, so what were the figures that we had before then? What was the... That was actually that my before? question. What did, we, what did we approve before then? What were the rates? Well, you previously approved, respectively, $70 for the smallest, mm -hmm. $80 for my favorite one there, mm -hmm. and 85 for the larger vehicle. And then what for the and lower? Now, I'm recommending now to 75 85 and 95 The 110 was the same. Was okay, that? that's the same. And the 110 stays the okay. same. Selectman Gulak, did you have any questions about this for no, Mr. Ferry? No, I'm ready to make a motion. Seem, yep, I'm ready to accept. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the following rates for hired snowplow contractors as recommended. Four by four trucks less than 110, $75 an hour. Trucks 110 but less than 26,000, excuse me, trucks one ton but less than 26,000 pounds with at least a nine foot plow, $85 an hour. Trucks with 26,000 pounds with at least a 10 foot plow, $95 an hour. Loaders with a three yard bucket, $110 per hour. This includes the driver in the vehicle, right? Correct. Totally, okay, thank I'll, you. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstentions, the ayes have it, and that motion passes. Also snow related, uh, we are also, I anticipate the need to fill the gap because obviously I have quite a bit of gap for, to be snow ready. Um, in anticipating that, I'd like to commandeer the police department's pickup truck that's not being used now that has a plow already on it. Um, we don't, it would not be advantageous to keep the police plates on it, but I need this board's approval to switch over to the highway department temporarily. So it, it at least be a backup vehicle for all hours, but I could put a driver in that a higher driver, which we entertain also in that vehicle. So, so if the board can entertain doing, uh, approving that tonight, so I can uh, get the title and get the plate switched over, that'd be it, great. Is the police chief aware of this? Uh, or is he gonna be surprised? He is aware of it, yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I will make the motion that uh, we grant permission to the highway superintendent to use the uh, current police department pickup truck for snow removal purposes. So right, I'm asking for it to be switched over to my assets. On a temporary basis? Yes. Okay. Well, it'd be registered, you either have the town of Dighton on the registration or the highway department. Right now, we, you don't want the police plate on it. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna withdraw that motion, because now it's confusing. What you're asking for is us to approve you're taking over the police department. Okay, Mr. Chairman, I move that we grant the request of the highway superintendent that he be allowed to take over the use of the police department pickup truck with a plow on it and that it be registered to his department. Correct. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. I just have one aside. This is not on the agenda, so I will ask that next time we only discuss things that are on the agenda. I know this is time sensitive, so if we can get those items in before the meeting, that would be great. All right, any further discussion? I'm waiting for the chief to leave time. <laughs> exactly. I knew it was about timing. <laughs> well, if, if it's a huge issue, he could drive it. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it. And that motion passes. We doing 6B next? <clears throat> yes, please. 
Um, this is a mess. Well, we did 6A, so at least this one's in order. 6B is in order. We don't have to make a special motion. Okay. Um, so we have received some complaints about traffic concerns on um, Forest Street. We've sent out our police department and personnel there to monitor it and take a look at it. I myself have driven on it. Um, and there has been a discussion of implementing three or implementing two new, Tom, if, if I have this wrong, correct me, two new stop signs to make it, no, I'm wrong, to make a total of three. Am I wrong? Please go ahead. All right, so I believe this is on the agenda tonight because they this need board to needs to respond to an email or a complaint or an inquiry of a complaint. Um, unfortunately, um, our police chief cannot, cannot be here. Uh, I need him to weigh in on it officially, and we have not been able to discuss it collectively as departments. Um, we had to move the department head meeting last week, and uh, he's not available this evening. Um, so I, ultimately, I, I believe it's going to be recommended that we de delay any dis actual decisions made tonight on our recommendations. Mm -hmm. Where the conversation is going, um, in lieu of the complaint, um, they were, our police department's already been involved on Forest Street with other issues, not just this one complaint. And we're, we are well, well, mm -hmm. well aware of that community's uh, needs. Uh, we're leaning towards recommending an all-way stop at Spring and Forest, Prospecting Forest and Tree Martin Forest. And that's going to be a, a big traffic change. And um, it's going to involve, pro, uh, Mallory's going to weigh in on how we're going to approach that. Uh, I was wrong, Mallory, when I said this was going to be the first time this board's going to recommend, because um, we just did that earlier this year, Summer Street yes. at Prospect. We did install a stop sign already. This board has done that. Um, this is a, a huge traffic change. Um, it's, that recommendation is not based just on speed. It's based on the pedestrians that are in the neighborhood, visibility at the intersections. All, all them things are being considered. And that's going to change the neighborhood tremendously. And it's not to be taken lightly. And um, I need to have, we need to have a good discussion with the police chief and his uh, sergeants under him also because they have been weighing in on it. Mm -hmm not just the speeding at itself. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know if that helps you how to respond, but uh, we are actively working on... Well, I think that's the response. We are really actively working on um, the safety concerns mm -hmm. there, not just the speed. And um, when you get to that point of having a, a public hearing, I think that's where she's going to go. Uh, I would make sure that particular complainer is well invited and be part of this process. Mm -hmm. So we should yes. wait. So, so this is, is here, right. Correct? This is so to present to you what the process is going to be and make sure you're on board with it. And if you're not, we'll change it. What I'd like us to do is have a public hearing and invite the residents of that area mm -hmm. to come into a meeting and discuss this with all of you and get a formal recommendation based upon mm -hmm. the change. And you have a document in your packet tonight mm -hmm. talking about federal regulations <coughs> and state regulations that we have to follow in order to implement something like a, a stop sign. So here's, that's here's my thing with public hearings. I agree with you 100%, but when we have them as part of the Board of Selectmen's meetings, like we are at 9.30 and we have barely even got touched anything on the agenda. So I would suggest that it would be on a week where we're not meeting. Sure. Because we can't have I would an also hour and a half that for a public with hearing. The amount then, of people this would Im impact, I would mm -hmm. also suggest that. Okay, that's fine with me. The other thing I will remind everybody is that we have a rule now that we need a unanimous vote to recess later than 11 p.m. So if we don't get through this, I don't plan on having it be unanimous. So I will be leaving at 11 p.m. So we need to speed it up. <laughs> Okay, so to be continued on that. So we'll have a public hearing on a Wednesday off Wednesday. And perhaps it should be at the Grange versus here. The old town hall. Potentially. Hall. Potentially. We'll, okay. we'll make sure, I mean, maybe even bigger, but we'll make sure that it's that would actually be really nice, a, actually. I agree a larger with that. Uh, space. Mm -hmm. Is there a need to respond to the email now saying that we discussed it and that we are going to be having a hearing or 
I mean, I think it would be worth, I'm, hopefully he's watching, the resident's watching, mm -hmm. but um, I think once we hear back from the police chief and know exactly what he's thinking, then we can do some firm correspondence and have a, a specific date set up. And then everybody will be invited to that. Okay. okay. Is there anything else we need to do about this? On that item, no. This is just to keep you apprised of the situation. Yeah, who's, who's going to respond? We'll take care of that. Right, it came into the Board of Selectmen, right? Yes, yes. so we'll take care it of it. It did originally, yeah, it yes. came into the so Board we'll of Selectmen's respond. email address. We'll respond. Do we just have 7F for Mr. Ferry? Yeah, yes. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we take agenda item 7F out of order. Okay. I'm going to say, before we start talking about this, 10 minutes. Oh, it won't even take that long. Perfect. Perfect. I'll second that motion. <laughs> what, is, what is 7F? The drainage easement. 7F is the drainage easement. Spring agreement. Street, spring, spring and summer. Street. Oh, okay. It's finally all set. Oh, I'm sorry, you need to vote on your motion. Has everyone had a chance to read it? Mm hmm. Okay. Um, uh, well, we, we're voting on the motion to move, move out of order. To, out of order. Mm -hmm. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstentions? The ayes have it, and that motion passes. Okay. My apologies. No, not at all. Uh, we need to do some drainage repair work, and it just so happens it's on private property. So we've worked with the private property owner and their legal team, and we've developed an easement after many back and forth, but we all agree. We like the plan. We agree to the plan. We would like you to approve the plan. <laughs> Um, Mr. Ferry says he can do the work uh, even in this uh, in the winter, but mm -hmm. obviously scheduling will be up to him mm -hmm. and uh, his schedule. Do either of my colleagues have any questions, comments, or revision suggestions based on the document that's presented here before us this evening? No, I've read through the whole thing. Attorney uh, Dave Gay has gone through it. Yes. So I'm, all, I'm okay with it. Second Oh, no, I was involved with it. Okay. I am accepting motions. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the permanent drainage easement agreement with Landman Omnibus 8 Limited Partnership, and this is for 620 Spring Street, not Dighton. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. Further discussion? Hearing none? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it. That motion passes. Mr. Ferry, was there anything else? I'm not sure. <laughs> He's I'll like say. nervous to leave You're now. You're free to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Before we find something else to talk to you about. <laughs> thank you for your help on that. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you. you so much, Mr. Ferry. We appreciate it. Yes, Mr. Kale. Um, is it possible to go to the uh, of the of this building so that I can make sure I don't lose the ferry because I have to stay until? Uh, oh. Uh, Actually, I think that's going to be the next. Yes. That is the next item. Yep. We're we'll going right now, yeah. Mr. Gale. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. I didn't plan that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have a presentation on proposed town hall renovations. I suspect that the conversation will continue past tonight. So. 15 minutes. Mr. Commissioner. I'll try to keep it pithy minutes. under the circumstances. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that word? <laughs> <laughs> circumstances. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, hello everybody at home. I know it's a late night and I don't want to um, <coughs> interfere with the selectmen conducting all of their business for this evening. No, we appreciate so, you, Mr. Commissioner. Um, the purpose of this discussion tonight is to open dialogue with the Board of Selectmen regarding potential renovations that we want to do here at the Town Hall. What's the matter? What do you, what do you need? There's only one original. There should be two because we've got to give one to the other party. But that's all right. We, can, we got you one here. You just do the last signature page. Right, exactly. We can sign the signature sign page. Already. Did you see my ingenuity? I apologize, Mr. No, Commissioner. No, no, that's fine. That's, that's important. Not as important as you. Oh, you drainage see. is important. <laughs> <laughs> you have my undivided attention, sir. Sure. So uh, we've always 
discussed that uh, next door Old Town Hall renovations were um, the start of a larger effort to um, enhance the entire campus mm -hmm. here um, for town services. So now that next door is finished and everybody at home will have an opportunity to see it at a formal ceremony, uh, I believe that's going to be at the end of January. The selectmen um, have formed a committee and we are moving toward making that a momentous occasion. That said, um, the chairman of the Board of Selectmen wanted to open up dialogue regarding this building as soon as possible, because we know how long things take, uh, especially in government. And um, Amen, the town administrator and I, um, we came up with what we think are important concerns uh, with the campus, and I will defer to the town administrator to bring those to light, and then we can expand the Great. discussion. Sure. Thank you. So we put together a little bulleted list for you, um, highlighting some of the needs in our current building, and um, if it's okay with you, I'll go over them, but if you don't want me to, I understand. Can you highlight? Sure. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have some ADA compliance issues that have basically irked me since the day I started. Um, we have space issues, lack of storage issues. We have, um, well, these these signs that are posted on the glass door, that's a problem, and I also don't really like how it looks professionally. Mm -hmm. um, we have buildings and, and departments that are in desperate need of upgrades, uh, the library being one of them. So we've developed a plan that hits upon all of these. Uh, we understand not everybody's going to love this, but we think that it's a good compromise, a fair plan. Um, based upon some feedback that we did receive on our, what I call option one, we do have some ideas on how to address that. Um, so that's where it lies with you. Um, do you want to, I'll kick it back to the building. Sure, board. sure, yeah, this is a collaborative between right. you and I, obviously. So. That said, and just let me know how we're doing on time, oh, and I, I, I think this is a discussion that's going to carry on, so right. we can certainly come back at future meetings. Um, this mm -hmm. isn't going to all get hammered out tonight. So um, based on the conversation I had with Administrator Aaron Steen, um, I had some specific things that I thought were a concern here from a logistics perspective and expanding upon um, the bullet list. Uh, this room, I believe, for a Board of Selectmen's meeting is too small. Uh, that was sort of seen tonight. I've been in this building when we've had uh, people lined up against the walls, people out in the hallway. So I think the, I know we have next door, but I also know that this is the town hall and I believe the Board of Selectmen should still meet here. So that said, I think the Board of Selectmen need a space that's larger than this to conduct their business in. We also need this space in this room to expand the offices because you only have a certain amount of square footage available. So to do that, we are going to need to take over some of the spaces that are currently being utilized, this one in particular. Um, one of the reasons that I'm looking at expanding on this level uh, is mostly because of accessibility. Um, if you notice the way next door was laid out, it was laid out where all town services are on one level. Although both levels of the building are utilized, they're for two different items. It's still a public building, but you come in to get served by a town department, you get all the departments are on the same level, which is serviced by a handicapped restroom and a handicapped counter. <clears throat> Upstairs is a meeting space, which also has accessibility allowances, but the person coming in to see the building department doesn't need to go up to the, to the room upstairs, so an elevator wasn't required. The same concept would be applied here um, unless we fractured the office space and had it downstairs and upstairs. So the intent was not that we don't want to put an elevator in, but an elevator is very costly. It eats up a lot of money that could be well spent elsewhere. So the intent was, is it possible to expand the services upstairs without putting an elevator in and repurpose the downstairs for something separated from town government? at least town government offices. So that's where the idea came up to put an addition on the front of this building, which would be the least costly place to put an addition on. That addition would do a few things. It would drastically reduce the length of the ramp, which comes from the parking lot. Tom and I have already discussed the repaving project, which should happen next year, 
where we can raise the elevation of the parking lot. Yeah. If we lower the elevation of an addition on the front, we can cut that ramp down probably by 50%. Uh, which I know is a huge issue for most people who visit this building. I'm out of breath when I get to the top of that thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're in good physical. And you're in good physical I condition. I would go that so. far. Thank you, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> Just for the record, I'm okay with walk off the ramp. Okay. okay. I'm not out of breath. Really. Okay. So, <laughs> so what that addition would do is it, it puts a building or it increases the footprint of this building in the least costly place possible because of the location, logistics, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it would be a one-story uh, addition. And it, my, my vision is that you come into a new foyer, which we can present to the town with the uh, POW chair, a nice set of flags, the uh, notice board, which would be much more um, professional than and what we have at out there 80 now. At an ADA compliant height. Right. Exactly. Like a consolidated board, not just p pictures taped on right. a window. Exactly. Right, okay. exactly. We would eliminate all of that. Um, we would have a nice message center. I've, I go into a lot of different towns. I see LCD screens now, which direct you to where you need to go. And then in that same addition would be the new selectman's meeting room, which I think should be the focus of where people see when they come in, um, especially on nights where you have, you have your meetings. Now, there would be an elevation difference between the two buildings because of the fact that we want to shorten the ramp, so there would be another small ramp within that addition to get you to this level. But there's, there's what we call an area of refuge in between where you can, if you are in a wheelchair, you come up a much shorter ramp, get to the foyer, look where you need to do to conduct your business, um, have handicap accessibility uh, allowances within it, so people with disabilities will still be able to conduct business, and then you would come onto this section, which would be only offices. And what I mean by that is the grand foyer would go away because there would be no need for it. Um, it would allow us to expand uh, what is currently uh, Administrator Arenstein's office. Mm -hmm. So that would increase square footage there. Huh. Now for just me. No, 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 <laughs> no. no. Or we no would bring yeah. Karen. It, it, yeah, it would, it would take Karen put her with the town administrator, which from an, a, a, an efficiency standard escalates, you know, the, how much work they can get done because they'll be able and to interact. To back and forth. Right. Yeah. It would also be the first office that the, the patrons would see when they come into the town hall, which is the selectman's office. Mm -hmm. um, that would open up this corner. It would open up this space. Mm -hmm. And then we can spread out. Spread out, right? And I have not come up with a definitive plan mm -hmm. of exactly how that would be, but mm -hmm. certainly we know what we need to do. Mm -hmm. um, I have one question. Sure. So it would be a smaller selectman's office than what we have now. Actually, I actually am okay with that. Actually, I was planning on having a selectman's office in the where the chambers are in the new addition. Okay, so off of the meeting room. That's right, that's And correct. just so the public knows, we call it the Selectman's Meeting Room. We are not the only board that no. uses the, this room for the right. meetings. Right, right, exactly. So, and, um, I know the planning board has an issue with their meeting space now, which they shouldn't be meeting in an office. So. That would allow There's that. There's more people that probably problem. go to their meetings right. than and come they, to ours. They don't have space for that. Like, I've yeah. been at them, and right. people are standing, they're outside the door. It's also a privacy and security issue for me. I don't right. think that any board should be meeting in their office. Right. Um, the public should not be able to walk in and be into somebody's office while they're busy doing meeting work. Mm -hmm. And I just. Yeah. So, what is the plan for planning? Well, originally, the plan for planning. Uh, was to move them next door mm -hmm. like we spoke of earlier mm -hmm. in the process um, and Although the real estate is tight over there. I could relocate myself personally mm -hmm. to another to another area that would free up the area that I currently use and planning could come over to that place and then um, They would use the upstairs um, now logistically you would have potentially conservation zoning board board of health and planning all using the old town hall I had met individually with each board, mm -hmm. um, and the uh, Board of Health was willing to alternate with the planning board on Wednesdays, mm -hmm. and the zoning board was willing to move their meeting to Thursday. And then conservation I hadn't got to talk to yet. We were hoping they would do Tuesday, and we would have meetings Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at Old Town Hall, and then the remaining part of the week it could be open for use. 
May I make one comment on yes. that? Just so the public knows, the reason why I think that's probably a good idea is because there have been many nights when they have stacked meetings, meaning planning, zoning, and I'm making this up now, CONCOM, all have meetings around the same time on the same night, so you can't go to all of them. You have to choose right. one. Right. I agree. And actually, that will eliminate those four boards from having that situation mm -hmm. because the health department and the planning department would have alternate Wednesdays where they would meet. And then the Board of Selectmen would be the only one where we may have you know, meetings at the same time. Sure. Um, I don't know that we can get away from that because there's Probably, too many boards yeah. and Probably committees. Not. Right. Someone's always going to be right. meeting. When, right. Yeah. But we would have two designated meeting spaces, which I think is important from an open meeting law perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, from a safety perspective, um, uh, you know, the planning board seems to be having more and more people at their uh, meetings. Mm -hmm. and. Quite frankly, it's only a matter of time for the fire chief and I say no more. You're, that is an office. So there's literally 14 chairs in there, right? And right. Like it's, it's, it should be an office. So that was the original intent. I, I will tell you that um, I did approach the planning board on this, and they were not receptive to moving to next door. May they I were, ask what the argument against it is? Because my I'm thinking just strictly like what's good for people in, in a one-stop shop. It makes sense to me to have all of the land use or, right. you know, those departments all together. Um, I, Maybe it they'll made talk. Sense. That'd be great. It made sense to me as well. Mm -hmm. um, but then in talking to them, I said, what, is the, what are the two boards you deal with most often in your daily work? And I actually thought it was going to be the clerk because that was the discussion before. Mm -hmm. And she had said assessors and tax collector. And I said... I was surprised and then I said, well, number three must be the clerk because of plans and decisions and all of that. So if the top three boards are located here, how much time do we waste walking back and forth to conduct regular business for the part-time employee already, right? Like she's part-time. So I had concerns over that. And I brought those to Jim, we talked about it, mm -hmm. and we yeah. developed kind of a plan yeah. B. So, so and, and obviously this plan is fluid, mm -hmm. but the intent is to make sure that everybody has a, a space to work in mm -hmm. the building is is handicap accessible and handicap compliant mm -hmm. uh, by the way everyone at home we didn't build a building that's not compliant at the time it was built the, some <laughs> yeah. of the requirements weren't in Laws place changed. <laughs> right exactly um but just just to wrap it up i i believe that if if a sizable addition is put on the front of this building and we we stay with that original model I think I can come up with a floor plan that could potentially house the remaining departments within this building and create a break room for our town employees, which I think is, is needed. needed. I did Absolutely. it next door, and I think it should be done here. Yep. Um, and we would also be able to fully renovate the, 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 the restrooms, have handicapped accessible counters, which none of our departments have except for next door in my building. So it, it solves a lot of issues. The other thing that does is it opens up the downstairs of this building, with the exception of the cable area, for another use. Mm -hmm. And that can be opened up for discussion, but we have the COA who's in trailers that were never intended to be occupied for more than 25 years or whatever it's been. Um, we have a library that needs a new home. So there might be a variant of what we can do to move and shuffle different things around where we could open up, we, we can use the space downstairs in, in a manner it should be used, mm -hmm. maybe open up some real estate on the campus for another building down the road for some other need that the town has. But I, you know, I think it's a plan that can work. Mm -hmm. I think it's a plan that um, can stay fluid. Um, but it, it will be a fairly sizable project. Mm -hmm. And there's just one item I wanted to bring to light. Part of this plan is also to, we've heard many times about boards and commissions and these sort of auxiliary volunteers. Um, I don't mean that in a demeaning way, but kind of everything that makes town government run looking for office space. Oh, yes. And so there's a, in the plan, is there's a, a neutral, I call it, a neutral office. Yes that could be utilized by those people. So right. Parks and Rec comes to mind, the I'm town sorry, historian. That was important. Yeah, there yeah. was a small office that would be designated for any number of outside boards or committees mm -hmm. to use if they needed a space to conduct business at a desk. With like and, town 
town equipment. Equipment, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. It would have a, it would have a telephone, place for it would files. have a laptop. It would Cemetery have a, commission uh, comes place, to mind, right? Mine. Exactly. Which we don't have any of that now, and I know Administrator Aristide has fielded some concerns that people need a space like that. Mm -hmm. So we also address that. So I we tried to think of everything. Sewer department, you didn't mention them. Yeah. They would come up, no? They would have to come up. Mm -hmm. That is correct, yes. So um, I still think that there is real estate next door that can be used. Um, if, I, if, if I could find the space for planning, then I may be able to find the place for some another department. It just depends on which department that is. Mm -hmm. So, and, and don't think that we're all going to be crammed in over there next door. I would never allow that. We didn't do that to make it that way. My, but, my concern is simply, like, for example, if you were to have your office in the conference room. I know there are boards right now, maybe this will change when they start meeting upstairs, wouldn't be able to meet there. Like they would be, that would be your office. So, so. so the conference room um, was never designed to be a meeting room mm -hmm. because it's much too small. Mm -hmm. It's good for four persons. Um, and quite frankly, the upstairs, as you know, uh, is a beautiful space. So if I were to occupy the conference room with my office, quite frankly, someone coming in to speak to me, now I use the conference room, so it would still be my office. Um, but if another department, like the health department or whatever needed something, uh, my office isn't a private space. If it needed to be used, it could be used, or they could simply go upstairs okay. uh, to use it. I so. suspect they would. They so do, I don't yeah. think that's gonna be a problem. And I've had this, conversation with uh, the departments that are under the roof over there. There were no concerns. Actually, the zoning board was very quick to say we could move to Thursdays. That wouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. So it seemed like people were willing to work to try to make this all more fluid. Uh, you know, having three or four meetings in here on one night is somewhat chaotic. So, <laughs> you know, I, but, I think we, <laughs> but I think we have a, we have a, a potential solution down mm -hmm. the road. I know it would be a fairly sizable project, but I don't think it's uh, intangible. Mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's something I can do, mm -hmm. and we need to do renovations here anyway. Uh, that so. I, I totally agree with. We are at time. We're mm -hmm. actually over time. So here's what I want everyone to do. I want everyone to write down their thoughts, comments, concerns, suggestions, how you want the project to be, and I think that we should reconvene. Probably not next. This is that's not enough time, <laughs> but maybe the first meeting in January, That's and then January we can 9th. start discussing the actual logistics of how this is all gonna happen. So, and that's January 9th, just yeah. so everybody knows their deadline. If you think we should, you should allow us a couple of minutes to comment on all the information that we were just given. But we, we don't have a plan, so I just feel like, well, it's what are we commenting we, on? Well, we had a suggested plan. Right, so we have a suggested yeah. plan before us. So uh -huh. I want to make a comment that I'm concerned about the expense. Of course. We are still in the process of paying for our new police station, mm -hmm. which I was in favor of. We spent some money next door, mm -hmm. which added, I don't know how many square feet we added to the space that we needed. We're talking about a library in the future, possibly in addition to the uh, middle school. Uh, I don't see where these funds are going to, these, the money's going to come from, and I think we have to be concerned about that. We've got to separate wants from needs. Mm -hmm. We have to be ADA compliant. I'd like to see what the, the figure is on what needs to be done and what the figure is to, to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and that's my point of why we should wait. Well, I, we I don't just, have any figures. Uh, We're all concerned. But I'm well, also I, concerned I with, the, a, with the space crunch here as well. Something has to be done. It's just that within the past year, we've, mm -hmm. we've added a lot more space, and now all of a sudden we're still got, we're lacking space over here. I think we have to be cautious about this. I'm addressing mm -hmm. no, the figures that you suggested. And, and but the and problem the is, is we added space over there. We didn't yeah, actually we add added space the, over here. No, we took the CBA out of here. Mm -hmm. we, took, uh, we took the uh, building commission out of mm -hmm. here. We took the v, uh, veterans agent out mm -hmm. of here. Uh, so we did take, you know, mm -hmm. big some space over here. So, and we do, have a bigger, we do have a bigger meeting room over there now. So. Just, just real quickly, and, sure. I, and, I, and I know we need to move on. Um, There's seven seconds. It, it, no, I, been I, on that. I agree with I agree with your comments, but if we do renovations here, we we move towards ADA compliance. We're going to need to put an elevator in. And I want to see the cost. That's okay. Yeah, so. It's just and I most, totally most building contractors when they're going to spend two hundred twenty-five thousand or whatever it is on an elevator, 
you try to move that towards what can we do to the building if yeah. there isn't exactly a need for that and elevator. Maintenance. So elevators need maintenance. Right, the maintenance right. So is ongoing inspections, etc. Yeah. Well, and that's right. why I felt like it would be more productive to have that conversation about the cost. I think we're all obviously we're concerned about cost, right. but we, we, there are no figures yet. So I don't see well, the point in going back and forth. Right. I would just know. like to clarify, and mm -hmm. I would actually request if we could hear from Mr. Gale as mm -hmm. well, but um, we didn't come here, at least I didn't come here, thinking that this would be approved overnight. No. I just want to know if you like this idea, well, we and then we can the go figure it out. Right, Correct. but like, if there was some mm -hmm. reason that you vehemently opposed building onto the front, I mean, we'd like to know, because that's an in integral part of how this would all work. Right. Of course. So, I agree. I'm a little concerned about costs as well and how we could possibly fund this. How do we keep government going to Mr. Aguirre's part who, who said, like, that's no easy feat. How do we keep the services and have this ongoing? And if we don't have space to move an office, where do we go? And I'll be quiet. Sure. Uh, before, one second, Mr. Gale, uh, select and Google. Um, yeah, we all agree we need space. Um, I have similar concerns regarding costs. Um, we need to get some kind of an idea what this building would look like. We don't want another drawing like we got for Main Street, mm -hmm. the library. Mm -hmm. We don't want this building. We don't want this building disfigured. Uh, that's exactly what yeah. I'm talking about. All right. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, Mr. Pacheco's points are good. Um, mm -hmm. The money that we spent at next door was well spent. I think people are going to be extremely happy with that. But we also said that that was going to alleviate the crowding here because we would then reallocate space. Now we're talking about adding on. One of the things we talked about was adding on going that direction at two levels, meaning underneath would be parking so that you would be, um, first floor would be at grade, so to speak. So there's been a lot of discussion and it, it, I just, we need a lot more discussion. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I mean, but I, agree. And, uh, I just, and we may we come up with more have, ideas. We just have, you know, word, words on a paper mm -hmm. and no right. figures. So it's impossible for me to imagine how it should be, how much it might cost. I can't, because I just, you know, we don't this, have that information. This was just an intent to open the dialogue. Right. And mm -hmm. if the selectmen come back and say, we want two options, mm -hmm. uh, one without increasing the footprint, adding an elevator, but and one with an addition, then we can explore that. This isn't all going to happen in a mm -hmm. couple and of I days, think so. Mr. Gales is going to have to weigh yeah. in on this now that he's, we have an ADA person <laughs> on board. Mr. Gales, sir, you have so, the floor. So I'll make this short, but obviously that's why I'm sitting here. <laughs> um, because I, I think that the, the concept Town administrator and, and the building commissioner going forward it makes a lot of sense on one level. Um, the cost factor is going to be enormous. Adding in the ADA components to do it the way it really needs to be done now, and Jim is generally very good at, at, at dealing with a lot of the ADA components for, for buildings in town. Having said that, there's more of a concept now to go to a universal design method. A universal design methodology encompasses a lot more than just, quote, ADA, unquote, because it takes into account a lot of other types of disability, it takes into account seniors, it takes into account all different types of thing, things, lighting in the building, exposure to, to, to different places in the building, air venting systems. Um, those are the kinds of things that if you're going to look at this, you want to consider going to the universal design component potentially now. Having, and the reason I say that also, and as I think, you know, Jim knows there are a lot of regulations still on the table right now for ADA ch design changes between the state and the federal government that are probably going to be drastically changed in the next two years. And if, if we look at the ADA compliance components that are out there right now, we may be non-compliant by the time things are off the drawing board and things are ready to happen in a few years. So I'm just throwing that out there um, because I think it is important to keep all of those concepts in mind. And whether you look at an elevator or not, depending upon where it is and how you're going to surface people from, if you have a library space downstairs to get them up here without having them go outside, how's that going to be handled? So those are still things that have to be addressed if they have different types of disability and so forth. 
lowering the counters, as he said. Um, those are things that are going to have to be addressed. You know, the ramp is a mess right now. Mm -hmm. And I think if this is a project that ultimately the town decides is, you know, by the time the, the dollar figures are put together and all the engineering reports and everything are in, this may not be done for seven to ten years. And if that's the case, then I think that maybe a step back a little bit and looking at some of the short-term things that can be done, such as the ramp, are things to focus on more immediately. The, the ramp, the heights of some of the elevation, when a resident comes to the counters to be served here, things like that, the handles on the doors, you know, for, for the building for levers versus knobs, things like that. Those may be things that should be addressed more on a local level now within the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. So I'm just throwing that out there because I think it's, those may be changes that can be done more effectively on a short-term basis. Thank you, Mr. Gale. And I okay. hope when we continue this discussion that you will be able to be there so that we can, so. <laughs> so that we can uh, benefit from your expertise. And we appreciate it very much. All right. It is 10 o'clock. We have one hour left. Did anybody? Actually, no, I'm not even going to open Excuse that door. Um, Mr. Gale, do you need a ride tomorrow morning? Um, please. Okay, uh, thank you. you. Yeah, just have a uh, 7.15, yes. Thank you. All right. Mr. Gale, no, it's okay. Mr. Gale, Mr. Ferry, have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are moving on to the policy manual review. We are not going to skip it. I am here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it in one chunk. If you are going to call on each selectman, you are going to provide the town administrator with your comments, suggestions, whatever, completely rewrite it, trash it, whatever your comment or your suggestion is. And we're going to go selectman by selectman. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take it to a vote. And whether it fails, passes, burns in a dumpster somewhere, that's what the result's going to be tonight. OK, policy manual review. Selectman Goulart, you have the floor. Uh, before you do that, I want to make sure that the really priority things that are left that have to get done tonight get done. One of them is that change order for the police station. Um, that actually. Correct. We so got to do that we tonight. Need to, um, the um, internship program proposal we need to do because we have an intern, John Boulay, supposed to return. We have to rescind the emergency vehicle exhaust system vote and the um, designation of the evaluator and the job descriptions have to okay, be done. So, would you just say those again, please? Yes. Uh, so, it's old business items B, uh, excuse me, C as in Charlie. Yeah. D. Yeah. E. New business D and G. Oh dear God. We can do it. I um, just don't know where the time went tonight. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we had to have a hearing and we had to let the people talk. I mean, whatever. Mr. Chairman, I'm going to move that we take agenda item 8G, approval of change order for police station, out of order. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The, why are we doing this? Why do we do that every time? What is stopping us from just saying approval of the change order for Dighton? Is, is there a helicopter that's going to come out believe. of nowhere and people are going to drop in and arrest us for not just like moving on? I don't believe it's necessary, but it's a formal, you know, to let everybody know. I don't believe it's necessary, but you've okay. done it all along. I, I'm not. I can tell you on every school project that I was involved in, school committee had a vote on every single change order. And we've been fortunate. We haven't had many just school projects. Lots. Sorry, were you asking about the change order? I'm sorry. No, we're gonna, you were talking about the change order. I'm not, that's not what I was talking about. That's not what I was talking about. Right. You were talking about just, taking things out of, yeah. out of order. Okay. Maybe we should have a policy change oh, on that. Oh, mean, that we just no, oh that's, God, that's, that's parliamentary procedure. You have, to, you have to vote to take things out of order. I've seen meetings, and I don't know if it was legal or not, where they, they make that vote at the beginning of the meeting, mm -hmm. that they can reserve the right to take things out of order, and mm -hmm. they only vote once. Okay, uh, we don't need to start doing that. <laughs> okay, so we can check into that. Yeah, definitely. I okay. did assume it was okay, part just, of so, so. We have to take the vote, by yeah, the way. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it. This motion passes. Approval of the change order for Dighton Police Station. 
this should be done in 10 minutes, correct? I don't have much to say. Five I mean, minutes. we're kind of stuck between a, 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 a you have to do it. <laughs> okay. Um, the committee voted to take care of it. They did have a special meeting um, in time for this meeting. Mm -hmm. So it's unfortunate, but change orders happen. They're still within budget, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, it's not dire. So are we voting on the 24,000? Um, I just want to make sure that's the total, but I believe so. Contract sum will be increased by this change order in the amount of $24,953.50. Yes, right, Karen, that's everything. Yeah. Okay. And, then, um, and no, uh, number five. Right. Okay, perfect. Yes. So all the change numbers are listed in that top small print paragraph. Mm -hmm. But yes, um, select me go at twenty-four thousand nine hundred fifty-three and fifty-seven. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, on the front page, right there. So oh, yeah. okay. Thank you. Um, that's that's the total and attached to the mm -hmm. break. Is the breakdown? That's that was. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Chairman, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I move that we approve the contract sum of the change order in the amount of $24,953.50, making the new contract sum, including this change order, $4,557,125.04. And this uh, change order is coming from the contingency. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. Uh, further discussion? Well, I, I assume that we've all looked at all of these, and I guess they've already, it's already happened, but $5,000 to move the boulders that were in the front. What, what exactly happened? What, why were they, do we know why? Is the, that for the corner? I, I have to do that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Um, they were oriented in a certain pattern. where a vehicle could still make its way to the front of the building, so he asked that they be relocated. At a cost of 5000 I don't know how much it costs. Yeah, it was the additional, it was to get additional of it, them, right? It, it may have been purchased so some additional purchase ones. Yeah, I didn't do a count, but my opinion is you can't, mm -hmm. even reconfiguration, you may still have gaps, so it could have very well been to purchase another one or two of those textured concrete blocks. And that's not what it says. It says at the request of the client, the costs are associated with relocating the bolts at the front of the building after being installed for the layout provided. I understand, I understand the fact that was a concern of mine when I viewed it. I don't want cars in the front. We don't want any opportunity for a car to come in the front. I'm just concerned about the, it's already happened. It's $5,000. Yeah, and it's from the contingency. You can't speak to the cost, but. But even the contingency is still, uh, taxpayers' money, and it if is. we don't spend it, then it we is. get it back, or mm -hmm. it it's money that we don't have to borrow, I, I guess. I'm not, that's sure. Right. I'm not sure procedurally if the committee, the building committee votes to approve it, I would, I'm sure the select will reserve the right as taxpayer money for them to qualify the number. At which point so, they will not be paid for that, but I think right. we would have... Yeah. Oh my God! It Legal would be trouble a complete there. disaster. No, I, I, I know what you're saying, I and I think that, the points well made. Five thousand um, dollars for and should and be. When we say bowl is big, I mean, you've, you've seen that. Yes, yeah. Yeah, they're they're yeah. huge, so it's not. It, uh, it, this may be speculation, but I'm just saying if there was no machinery on site to move them, they'd have to, and they had to bring machinery in to do that after the fact. Then I can see how the cost can be. Right. That's my that's my thought. Yeah. Do we have any further discussion on this? Hearing none? Sorry, I was just giving everyone time. Sorry. <laughs> Here. Did you have anything to look No, nope. nope. Hearing none, let's take it to a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it. That motion passes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, I move that we take, I'm going to do these in a block. Mm -hmm. I'll list them all. I move that we take the next four items in the order in which I will read them. 7C, 7D, 7E, and 8D. I'll second that motion. 
We have a motion and a second. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it, and that motion passes. Uh, this is the second time it is coming before you. It's the internship program proposal. Mm -hmm. um, I actually have had a conversation with the health agent who um, we kind of decided that they would also benefit greatly from having an intern. So I think this is a timely proposal. Uh, we have had one in the accounting department over the summer. He worked out very well. We would like him to come back and see the budget in action, which is actually probably the best part of his education that he could provide possibly get here um, and this proposal would just sort of make it town-wide and overarching so All I'm right. requesting your approval for that. Before we get into discussion we have three minutes. Selectman Goulart, did you have any questions, comments, suggestions, revisions? You hate it, you want us to try No, it. the only Anything question like I had was the first line refers to partnership with local students then we say Dighton residents will receive priority. I was thinking Dighton, local meant Dighton, it doesn't. Well if we had a high school student it could have been a, um, a Rehoboth resident. Or like Bridgewater Rainham right. student or, yeah. Or a BP, I, actually mm -hmm. I don't know how BP would translate, but who knows. Well, construction actually. Okay, no, that answers my question. That was the only thing I questioned. So, no, that's it. I did not have any questions about it. Um, we had sort of discussed this before, um, and I think it would be good for the town. Um, and I will. Uh, I have one suggestion. Sure. If we could somehow incorporate this into uh, like our finalized policy oh, manual. Yes. <laughs> Are you okay with yeah. that? Sure. So like hey, in Pacheco. Uh, my concern is it says we'll be paid. Do we know how much they're going to be paid? So we started John off at twelve dollars an hour. Uh, minimum wage is eleven. I thought it would be a nice, you know. In compensation as of as somebody who slaved away in the capital in Washington DC <laughs> I feel your pain interns so uh, I've done internships Nine to five, and, and we've done them at the court and yeah. nobody's got paid so it's, it's not a lot of money so we're not it's coming out of whose budget is it coming out like when you say the board of health they right have so somebody. they would provide in their budget request mm -hmm. funding for that um, it for came back department. a personnel line for the accounting department mm -hmm. when we did it over the summer. Um, going forward, I'd like to put it in my budget and have it be an intern program. But they I have they have the money now because you said there's an immediate need for this. The I, it, has I didn't say immediate. I said there's some work some that could soon. happen. I don't know if they're ready to take somebody on like that, but I know that it's in their their thought process. So by the next fiscal year, that we should be able to accommodate that. So that we're not hiring any interns until we are hiring John, which is why I uh, which has already been. He's already been. Of, yeah. yeah, right. I know you had something. Yeah, I just when you mentioned the health agent, yes. um, I'm wondering if we should strike local in partnership with students to provide. And the reason I say that is. That student we had from Boston University oh, was that's not. Right. not. So if we just say partnership with students, strike the word local, and then you say down here that Dighton residents will get preference. But I'm if okay we with have that. another one like that person from Boston mm -hmm. University, she was a godsend. Well, and then I think you're getting into someone's opinion of what's local exactly. and what's not. It's not and I just defined. Think you're right. A student is objective, like right. you're either right. a student and, or you're and, not. And she turned out to be really special for what they needed mm -hmm. her for. You um, know, so. Completely okay. amenable to that. Okay, so I will entertain motions on this. Did you have another? No. Oh, okay, no, I'm I, sorry. I saw I you moving out of no, the corner no. of my peripheral <laughs> vision. Um, so I will accept motions to approve this with Selectman Goulart's uh, suggested okay. amendment of striking local. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the proposal for an internship program uh, with uh, striking the word local from the first sentence. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it and that motion passes. And I will just say, and I know this is not what you were saying, but I do strongly feel they should be paid because I just feel like if they're not paid, then internships in general are skewing towards those who are wealthy enough to not need to get paid. Also, the fair, the, the fair labor laws, um, if the, the, the caveat is if they are providing something that the town will use in the future, 
Well, one could, in my opinion, one could argue that they're always providing something that the town can use in the future. They're creating public documents. So. Well, at the court, I hate to believe this, but at the no, courthouse, okay. was, they were getting credit, college credit. Right. Brought, so that was their benefit. And some of them actually got hired by the court mm -hmm. system because of their work. So. That would take, and, and I agree, like, I've done internships and gotten college credit, um, but that would take a lot of legwork in terms of setting something up with a university, and I'm not saying it's not, we could move towards yeah, I, that, and I'm okay with that, but at least we have something in place where we can start, and if that's where it moves, I know people at Bridgewater, for example, who might be able to help something like that get off the ground, but I'm happy with having something on the books, and then... However it evolves, is, is I'm okay with. Thank you. You're welcome. The next so, oh, I'm sorry, Madam Administrator. The next item is, uh, I was here last meeting requesting that you vote to award a contract to a company for the exhaust, the emergency vehicle exhaust removal system. And we had a bid protest, and the AG's office and I had a conversation, so my recommendation is that you rescind that award and cancel the process. Um, the reason I'm asking this is because my scope that I wrote stated that we would award based on best value, and in this particular case, the chosen vendor uh, last time had a five-year warranty, and I translated that to the best value, and uh, that's not that's too not subjective. okay apparently, right? Okay. And there were some other things in the scope, so um, I'd like you to rescind the award, cancel the process. We'll start over. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we, re <clears throat> excuse me, rescind the award of the emergency vehicle exhaust removal system and cancel the process as recommended. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it, and that motion passes. Are we moving to reviewing and approving the job descriptions, yes. which I know we need to do? Yes. Um, so this item and the next item that we're going to discuss mm -hmm. are very important due to time and making sure that we are on track with what we have rolled out as our evaluation process. Sure. So Before you have a begin, oh, is it okay? No, no, I don't apologize. I'm trying to go quick. <laughs> Before no, it's okay. Before we begin, um, I think. We'll start with 10 minutes, and I want to do a, the same type of thing where each selectman gets a chance to, uninterrupted, give sure. all of your comments, concerns, revisions, questions. Can I just make one sure. um, of course. statement? The town and Cowan and I, I just want to let you know, we did develop an updated uh, job description, mm -hmm. and what you have is, is that product um, that we worked on together. Okay. And the health agent, the animal control officers was um, reviewed by the Board of Health and voted on. The health agent is still with the Board of Health for December 20th. But that's fine. I mean, if mm -hmm. there's just one. Um, everybody else that I have worked with uh, or that is on this list has worked with me. Um, we have updated them to form minus one, the Council on Aging. We did make one change. She agreed with it and was fine. The building commissioners contract if you vote to approve as drafted here will spark discussions on a um, I called it a contract I'm sorry his job description will spark discussions on a contract um, because it is added work and that's all I have to so say. the town accountant that I got last week is not the one we're voting on tonight correct um, she stuff. had a death in the family so she was out I wasn't okay. able to meet with her all right so it's not um, this one all right so I haven't looked at the other one yet because okay. I just got it tonight Yes. The fire chief's all set, right? Yes. That's all done. Council on H. Okay, what order do you want to take these in? Do you have this? this yeah, there's like a list. So I, what I, my suggestion, what I would like to see is each selectman just goes, maybe you don't have any you know, suggestion on police chief, but you do for council on aging. So now is the time just. Or what you could, another idea is you can do it like the budget and you could just go and anybody can hold. If there's some that are fine, we can just move on. I mm -hmm. can start it on those. Mm -hmm. and, the um, only one I would, what, would prefer to hold is just the town account. For just simply because yeah, I just, just got, got it. Yeah, yeah. 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 The one other today. ones I went through, I actually. That's policies. First of all, I appreciated the fact that this counts as my time. So 
I'm not going to speak after this on this item. <laughs> no, it's going. Um, <laughs> I think, so first of all, I appreciate the fact that um, when it came to someone who serves on a board or oversees a board, the board then, like animal control, the board then approved that, um, I assume health agent as well. Um, so I have no issue with that. Um, and I don't particularly have any issue with the other job descriptions, um, other than, again, town accountant, simply because I didn't have time to look at what was may have been updated. Um, so I'm going to let my colleague... Uh, Mr. Uh, Selectman Pajico, you have the floor, sir. I did have an opportunity to look at the town accountant uh, job uh, description. I'm okay with that. The council agent, I do think it needs to have additional work on it, as well as the animal control officer, we're still waiting for. Uh, no, that one was approved. It's the health agent. I'm still waiting on the Board of Health. Okay, so it's updated to form under review with Board of Health. Right, so those change. This I prepared for you for the packet. and. There's been some developments today, and I found out today that she, it was updated. It was approved, excuse me. And then the health agent and I took so, a look at his. So is that in that packet then? Yeah, yes, it is, right? You know, it should be. Yeah. The other item is that Jonathan Gale, as our EEO officer, well, Equal Employment yeah. Officer, did look at all of these as well, and I thank him for that work. So I'm satisfied. I've gone through them all. I'm satisfied. Okay, I get questions. Uh, one, one second. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, no, no. It's sorry. okay. I would never cut you off. I just want to clarify. So you're okay with all of them, the except you want us to hold Council on Aging, Animal Control, and Health Agent? Uh, not the, the health agent. I've already I've read it today. Okay. And I'm, I'm okay with that. What's yep. the town account and uh -huh. the council on aging? So my major concern. Town account. Okay. And, town account and council on aging. Okay. Yeah. So just those two. Okay. So I can go. Is that I'm a sorry. second list? No. Uh, yeah, December 11th. I got November. Oh yeah, list. this is a newer one. All right. So. You want to just look at my list? I've done for this. Okay. Want. So that so this was in this was not in the package I got yesterday. Because mm -hmm. this is the one I've been working off of. All right. So. Okay, here's December 11th is the new one. Okay, mm -hmm. so I just want to make sure fire chief is okay, hold on the town accountant. Uh, who else did you say? Um, he just council said town aging. accountant and council on aging were his two that he wants to hold. Everything else okay. was okay. And I had All right. concerns. The with ones that I looked at, mm -hmm. again, were the ones I got last week. So um, I, I haven't looked at tonight. So, so that's I got. Police chief, fire chief. Um, I get, that, go ahead. I have Sorry. questions on police chief, okay. veterans agent. Okay. Now, I don't know if this one got separated out. Animal control officer slash animal inspector. Those are two different jobs, and we don't appoint the inspector. They're, they are. They voted to merge these two together. That, that came They from cannot that. do that. The animal inspector is appointed by the state, not this board. So that that's is actually like that's object. I'm just talking about yeah. sheer objection. That is correct. It does come from the state. Yeah. So okay. what they need to do is they can keep the same stuff, but they got to have a paper that says animal inspector and uh, well, why animal would we control. Even have one for animal inspector because the state requires the state. it. No, no, I know, but if it's appointed by the state, why does the board of health have to do a job description? Right. For because the board inspector. of health oversees the position, because. Um, but we wouldn't be evaluating would her nothing. as animal exactly. inspector. Exactly. I'll, I'll just this is tell all for them about, so the public understands this. We needed these job descriptions so that we can do, remember when we overhauled that performance evaluation mm -hmm. and we did yeah. that policy? Right. This is for that. So just so right. everybody understands. I think it would be, even though we're not going to evaluate the animal inspector, I think it would be wise to have a job description because this is the total confusion that happens. This has been going on for years that... Uh, I can remember sitting at a board of selectmen's meeting and appointing the animal inspector. They may say, no, no, that's a state thing. But that's all I'm saying. So all I'm asking is um, on this one, a hold just for tonight until we can get this thing straightened out. The, the, uh, the duties, per se, um, you know, I just added a couple of more grammatical things. But, um, but anyhow. So, if I am correct, I, 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 I know it's late, but I, so what are the lists right now we're holding on is police chief, town accountant, council on aging, veterans agent, and animal control officer. Yeah, that's what I got. Okay. 
and everything else is okay. To we can vote on the the rest tonight. Okay. So I am accepting motions, and what I will ask is Selectman Gular, if you could give a copy of your yep. revisions to the town administrator, and she'll get it to whoever, whatever board may be making those changes, or she yes. will yes. find someone who can help her make them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of pulling stuff apart. Okay, so I'm accepting motions to approve the job descriptions for fire chief, administrative assistant, building commissioner, Highway Superintendent and Health Agent, as presented this evening. I shall move. Uh, second. We have a motion and a second. Discussion. You know, I had, I had one question on Highway Superintendent, mm -hmm. and it may have gotten corrected. I think I put in his physical environment something to do with the fire department. And no. I did change that. Okay. Oh, that wasn't it. No. It was, when I read it, I just thought, what? What does that mean? Man, am I so happy I put there the little footers. Oh, not saving me. Oh, I know one of the things that I wondered about was qualifications down the bottom. Are we on highway superintendent? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, page one at the bottom. Bachelor's degree preferred. Normally you say in what? Correct. What would you like your highway superintendent to have? Um, ecology, earth science, construction. I'm thinking of all those people I threw, that turn I up with think engineering. engineering. Yeah. Engineering, yeah. Engineering or related, yeah. I like the ecology thing, though, because stormwater and well, all that good stuff. Yeah, and. I took is, ecology. I can tell, maybe it's changed since when I took it. I was a biology major. Was, would not help me be a highway superintendent. He knows quite a bit, though. No, I know he, he like, does. He helped me so much. I'm just so saying if that was all I knew, and then I got <laughs> a job as a highway superintendent, <laughs> scary. Right. Well, they don't there was highway. a reference, something about forest or forestry or something, and so, I looked at it. Was it tree warden and tree management? So what that is, what you're remembering, is on my top sheet last time and today, if you look under that, okay. he is telling you... That was his communication I'm passing along. We need to address the forestry aspect that he fulfills right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so and the he's, he's the tree warden, so it's confusing because he's elected as such. But he is just letting us know we need to address that at some point. Okay. So we're only talking about the highway superintendent in this writing and the tree warden or tree management or whatever it's going to be. That's going to be a separate that, thing. That's just something different. And, uh, okay. All right. I don't have a problem with the highway superintendent then. It was just that one mm -hmm. thing that threw me for that highly contested position <laughs> that everyone wants. <laughs> we have a motion and a second uh, to approve the job descriptions for fire chief, administrative assistant, building commissioner, highway superintendent, and health agent. Any further discussion? Nope. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it and the motion passes. Madam Administrator, before we move on from this agenda item, is it your expectation that we will try to get the other ones fleshed out by next week, or are we doing first week of January? I would, it needs to be next week. I agree. Um, and I'll okay. tell you why, because we are on a tight schedule. But I get a chance, um, get them to you. Okay, thank you. We have to get this in, yep. in motion, because our budget process makes everybody know like how they have to do all of their stuff in January. So uh, mm -hmm. I was hoping to do them if I am designated um, the next couple of weeks, but mm -hmm. I'm up against the holidays, so. But this is only a handful. I mean. No, this is, four. yeah, we can get this. Yeah, and I've, I've marked these up, uh, but I don't want to take the time to right. go all through all of this well, tonight. Well, and it should be it's with five. me when I want one, two, oh, three, four, animal control. Animal control, accountant, yep. COA, police chief. And veterans agent. Oh. Yep. Okay. Madam Administrator, can we move on to, well, I I'll need a motion to move. Oh, sorry. I will. <laughs> be rated. I'll make a motion and we go to 8D. D, thank you. You actually don't need that. You've already done it. It was oh, that's part right. of the we blanket. did that in the beginning. Um, so I can what go this that. means is, yep. per our evaluation policy, it's either the Board of Selectmen or its designee. 
um, to evaluate these department heads. Are we going to have to vote on this every year because of no, the language and the policy? No, it's up, up to you. It's up to you. And then you if want. we want to change it, if you are, and the next year the board, for whatever crazy reason, says if we want to do the evaluation. If I was absolutely horrible at it, yes. <laughs> but um, the, the caveat is if it's done by the board, there are it has to be done in an open, open session. Meeting, yeah, of course. You can't share each other's um, a year evaluation. It's like how we have opinion. to do yours. Right. Yeah. No, not a fan. So I actually support having the town administrator um, be our designated evaluator. I actually think we spoke about this before and we all agreed, but we didn't actually vote. So we're here having a formal vote. I'll make a motion that the town administrator be the designated evaluator. Second. We have a motion and a second. Discussion? I just want to let you know that you will be receiving the evaluations. Are you giving us work? Just, just reading, <laughs> just, just light reading. And we, and I expect that my colleagues and I will be looking at, you know, how, how you evaluated what I said. these employees. Any further discussion? I don't need to clarify mm -hmm. that she doesn't evaluate herself. <laughs> yes. So. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, she does. It's the beginning <laughs> Self -evaluation. of self-evaluation. <laughs> yeah, correct. But we will play a role in her evaluation as well. Um, any further discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it. That motion passes. I want to thank my colleagues, because we got through a lot really quick just now. So we, we did our homework. We literally. No, I'm proud of everyone. I really mean that. I'm just a little tired and cranky, and I apologize. <laughs> OK, so let's go back to the policy. Mm, just give me a moment, actually. OK, let's go. If it's okay, I think we might need a motion so I can go out to Old Business 7B, vote on March 29, Board of Selectmen's meeting schedule. I do think we should, that's, this is just a formality. The one that we had last time, um, you must have been delete, delete happy on oh, the wait keyboard. A Did we vote? When you take them out of order, then you always go back to where you left yeah, off. Yeah, so we need a vote to go to seven. No, no, you, you don't need. Motion. No, you're going back to where you should have been. Well, where we should have been was is, the policy yeah, review. Yeah, is actually so, town administrator's report. Um, so we need a motion to move to seven B. I'll make a motion. That Did we, we do seven A? No. I'm making a motion that we do seven uh, B next. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it. That motion passes. Um, so I apologize. No, no, I left no, March off. No need to apologize. You are Wishful just thinking. No. Um, so <laughs> just so the public is aware, it w the last schedule, we corrected it since then. We're taking a formal vote um, tonight. Um, it did not have March 2019. I assure you, we are meeting twice in March of 2019. Um, so we're here tonight to vote on this amended Board of Selectmen's meeting schedule. So I am entertaining motions. I do have one thing before we re-release this. If it's we can already, change, I already seal. changed it. I apologize right. Thank for you. that. Yep. No, nope, it's okay. No more I'll apologies. Like, yeah, I'm like a motion that we ha have a March schedule for 2019, March 13th and March. 20th. Are you sure you want to meet in March? <laughs> just what kidding. Said, you know, in uh, our town administrator's defense, mm -hmm. all of us got the same thing that she presented. I didn't not, catch and, it at all. And not one of us caught it, so. Uh, I didn't I'm want glad to somebody, I want to say somebody on Facebook caught it. Chris Chandonet, always keeping us oh, on I didn't want to give him credit. Sorry, it was him. <laughs> so I actually so, noticed it, but was we'll totally okay with not meeting in March. <laughs> so. Go to Florida, right? It's like a super busy time for us. We yes. can't not meet. We have a motion. Do we have a second? So, what we approved before had something left out of it. March. March. All of March. Okay. So, so then, so. all we need to do is vote to approve March. the no. The, the revised the schedule as revised sure. mm -hmm. because March is in there and this is the revised schedule and we already sent it out yeah I like that thank okay. you are you seconding with your amendment who made that motion I didn't make that motion all right can so you it's your motion can you I'll second get your motion out school outs, uh, no you have to take no, away it's yours. Just I'll gone, my motion oh, okay. no one seconded it you're right selectman Goulart okay so I make a motion that we approve the revised selectman's meeting schedule as presented tonight. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? 
Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it and that motion passes. Next on the agenda, I think it would behoove us to go back to the policy manual review, no motion necessary. Madam Administrator, if it's okay with you. Sure. So here's how I wanna do this. I'm thinking 15 minutes, we had this same packet. Well, I've had the packet for like three years, so I know what's in it. Um, I know you just got a packet, previous. correct. Um, so I want to have you say your opening remarks on this section. And then each selectman will have time uninterrupted to give their suggestions, Great. comments, revisions, sure. throw it in the trash. Sure. Sure. Okay. Okay, so I tried to, understanding that last time was a very lengthy time, I tried to pick and choose what I thought would be quote unquote easier 